Jose Mourinho is one of the best managers in world football. He's won over 25 trophies and managed so many different teams including Porto, Inter Milan, Chelsea, Madrid, Manchester United and so many more. So in this video what I'm going to do, I'm going to build a team of Mourinho's best ever 11. And let's start off with the goalkeeper position. So in terms of the goalkeeper, there's only one person who I can put in here. There's a couple of different names floating about but if I have done... <laughs> If I don't put this player in, I don't know who goes in instead of him. It is going to be none other than Petr Cech. Boys, if you didn't watch this guy growing up, you missed out something rotten. He is one of the best goalkeepers of all time and he is just so good. He was such a key part as well of Chelsea as I was growing up. There's a couple of other players it could have been, but there's one player who played under Mourinho quite a bit who we are going to be putting on the bench. It is going to be the main man himself. Arguably someone who could potentially be better than Petr Cech, I'm honest not too sure it's going to be icky to see us another unreal goalkeeper how much is this guy going for he's going for 79,000 coins currently boom 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 let's get him added to the subs bench icky to see us when in the center back positions there's two people who stand out mainly one of them was john terry but he's not in the game at the minute which is a bit of a shame so we're going to have to settle for the next best thing let's go and take this filter off go over to the center back and the first one is going to be sergio ramos Mourinho managed ramos when he was playing at Real Madrid. The Spaniard had 137 appearances under Mourinho. Obviously, you boys know who Sergio Ramos is. He's still playing. He peaked mainly at Real Madrid, but he did have a partner who also played under Mourinho, but he isn't actually a centre-back. Well, there is a centre-back version of him, but I've not got him. I've gone for the centre-defensive mid version of him instead. I've gone for Pepe. Pepe had 125 appearances for Mourinho at Real Madrid too. Unfortunately, these guys don't get a link anymore, but this Pepe card came out. He's got five-star weak foot. I'm playing him CDM at centre-back, and I'm hoping, hoping, hoping that he'll be able to do a job. In terms of someone to put on the bench for the centre-backs, I mean, <clears throat> he's, 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 he's he probably... Hmm, <laughs> he isn't one of the best players. Let's <laughs> let's put it that way. He's not one of the best players who ever played for Manchester United or even was under Mourinho. But Harry Maguire, welcome to the team. You're going to be taking a swift spot in that bench position. Moving into the right back position, we are going to be going for... Well, it could have been one person. Again, they're not in FIFA. So we're going to be going for the next best thing. It was going to be Mykon, obviously, when he was at Inter. But it's going to be Zanetti instead. As someone else who also... Played it into under Mourinho. Zanetti, I feel like that they've just done his card so, so dirty. He, he was so much better than this. And yeah, you've given us this card. What do you call this? Mourinho managed Zanetti quite early on in his career when he was managing Inter. He had 106 games under Mourinho at Inter. We are going to be going at four, none other than Marcelo. This one was a very, very hard one. So I'm 110% going to be putting someone on the bench for this. But boys, this Marcelo card, five star, five star. I feel like he's absolutely wasted at left back. But this is the card we're going to be going for. Another player who Mourinho managed at Real Madrid who had 113 games under him. But going on the bench is going to be none other than Ashley Cole, someone who was so, so influential as part of the Chelsea squad, someone who played under so many games under Mourinho, and someone realistically probably should be part of this team, but it doesn't matter. We're going to be chucking him in on the subs bench, 75,000 coins. What a fall from grace. We'll go over here and go boom. Moving into the centre defensive mid positions, these are the easiest positions in the team. There's absolutely no questions asked about either of these players. If you have got anyone else who you have put in here, I don't care. I don't want to hear it. You are wrong. It's going to be Makaleli and it's also going to be Lampard. Both of these had so many games under Mourinho at Chelsea. They won countless trophies together. And out of anyone on this list, they were some of the most used players on this team. With Lampard having 215 appearances under Mourinho. And Makaleli having 138. Two players who are a massive, massive part of Chelsea. And those best years for Chelsea consistently winning the league, being under Mourinho. These two were the main players. To be honest, Makaleli didn't always play at centre mid. But Lampard was probably... Probably the best player to play under Mourinho. Right, let's move into these wide centre attacking mid positions. There's a reason why I've gone for these because there's certain players who need to fit into the squad. Now, I want to use this new Joe Cole card. Look at this card, boys. This card looks absolutely ridiculous. And he's someone who actually played at Chelsea. He's played at West Ham, Liverpool. He's played absolutely everywhere. But for whatever reason, this version of him is at League 1. Another player who was part of Mourinho's legacy at Chelsea, winning countless trophies in so many games. Regardless, though, 
still, these stats look sick. Five star skill moves. I think he's going to be a perfect center attacking mid. And he's going to be going at that right attacking mid position. However, on the other side, it is going to be someone who is a Barcelona legend. So you probably weren't expecting to see him in this team. But Mourinho actually managed Eto'o at two separate clubs, including Inter Milan and Chelsea. In 66 appearances, Eto'o scored 33 goals for Inter. However, at Chelsea, he didn't do too well. He only had 20 games scoring nine goals. Now we're going to be using him in this team and he looks so, so good. Four star, four star. His stats look absolutely sick. I've used this card before, boys, and he was actually my favorite player in FIFA 21. And I'm so glad that I'm getting to use him again. He's got all the right player traits. He just looks so, so good. There's so many different attacking players who could have gone into this team. But as part of the midfield, I think someone that sort of goes under the radar as a good player. You know what, boys? I'm going to be chucking in at Mr. Paul Pogba on the bench. Admittedly, he probably didn't really get on too much with Mourinho, but that's sort of why we're chucking him in. Pogba on the bench. I feel like I have to include this guy on the list for players who Mourinho managed. It's going to be Melito. Now, this guy is a bit of a weird one. I've never really used this card properly, but he's coming in at a grand cost of like 31,000 coins. So, boom, let's just buy him and let's just chuck him into the squad. Melito, welcome, welcome, welcome. That leaves two players left on the bench and two players up front as well. So, starting with the first one, it is going to be one of the main strikers that Mourinho managed. Some would say that he played his best football under Mourinho, it is going to be the main man himself, Cristiano Ronaldo. Under Mourinho, Cristiano Ronaldo played 164 games, scoring a total of 168 goals and 49 assists. What an absolute animal. This was a key time as part of Ronaldo's career, and no doubt Mourinho helped him along the way. Now, I can't afford his shapeshifters version, so calm down. We're not going to be using that one, but I can afford his team of the season version. This, honestly, he looks so, so good. And one of the players who we can chuck on the bench is part of someone who did actually do okay under Mourinho. It's going to be Mr. Harry Kane. He's coming in at the minute at like 42,000 coins. Harry Kane, boom, you're on the bench, mate. Lovely stuff. And then finally, probably Probably the main player as part of this team. If Lampard is one of the best players under Mourinho, this guy has got to be second. This team would be incomplete without this player. There's no point in me even making this video if this player is not included. It is going to be Didier Drogba. This guy was honestly such a menace in the Premier League and he played his best football under Mourinho and he was so, so good. Under Mourinho, Didier Drogba played 186 games and scored 73 goals with 39 assists. We need to go and get someone else who can go on the subs bench. So I'm going to be going for Henrik Mkhitaryan. I've got this card in my club. And boys, this is the completed team. Let's see if we can win a game with it. Right, boys, let's see if we can get a win with this. Boys, if we don't get a win with this team, I will discard the full team. Oh, Ronaldo making that run. Right, okay, what can we do? Who's that in the middle? Who's that in the middle? Makaleli. Over to Eto. Eto! Oh, Ronaldo. Drogba in the middle. Drogba makes it 2-0. Okay, it's 2-1. Oh, oh, right. It, it's 2-1. Oh, and you're celebrating. Well, uh, well, it's going to be that game, is it? Oh, no, no, no. No, not 2-2. Not 2-2. It's 2-2. Oh, man. No call. Edge of the box. Have a dig. <laughs> Stinky Joe Cole. Drogba's making a run. Drogba's making a run. Oh my god, he makes it 4-2. What a goal. Oh, Makaleli, Makaleli. There we go. 5-2. Easy win, boys. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click here and go and watch another one. Oosh.